Yo, 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 what's good, bro? What's good? Man, ain't nothing, man. Same old, same old, man. Yeah. But it's another Breaking the Narrative podcast, BTM for short. I'm Tony. I'm Teddy. And today, man, we have somewhat of a doozy. But the topic for today is going to be uh, real men, technically. Should women be able to tell men what a real man is and i'm I'm not gonna jump into i'm actually i'm gonna give you the floor on this one what do you think no well the obvious answer is no <clears throat> but i'm assuming we're just gonna get into a bunch of reasons why like you know the answer should be no and then get into a bunch of reasons why i guess women feel like they have the i'm not gonna say the need but they feel like they have the what, what kind of word am I looking for? Is it permission or uh, the authority? The authority, yeah, we can go with authority. But they feel like they have the authority to like dictate what a real man is. Okay. And you know, if, if females knew what it, what like a real man was, then why do they have so much trouble either finding them or sticking with them? You know what I mean? Yeah. So I kind of I understand that one. Yeah, so first and foremost, it it's just a situation where I feel like it's a it's a mechanism of control, mm-hmm. manipulation. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like to pull a person to like, oh, you did this. You're not a real man. To try to get him to to change his ways. Yeah, to, to fit like. Your mindset of a real man, mm-hmm. and unless you know, if you live by the government's rules, the, the Constitution, blah blah blah, unless they have like a stone definition of what a real man is, because to me, you were born a male, right? Obviously, then you're a real man. <laughs> once, once you hit, once you hit like eighteen or was it twenty one, you're a real man. Like, it's as simple as that. Now, there's different variations of real men. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I don't know. I, to me, a lot of this co- just comes down to, like, one, females, they just have to have a form of control somehow, some way. And two, I, I don't know. It's just something mental. Something mental going on. That's all. What about you? I, I get that. <clears throat> My, uh... My definition on that is going to lean more towards, like, not the the definite that you're going for. It's just, like, just being a man in general. Mm-hmm. Mine is going to go more towards just, like, the idea of what a man should and shouldn't do. Right. So. I get it. I'm, I'm just simplistic. That's I, I know. I know, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I, I believe that there is a, a general consensus of what the idea of a real man is. Mm-hmm. And I just told you, you know, I made I made a post recently on Facebook. It was like, yeah, read, the, read, the, read the post, man. I, I, do I have to read the whole thing, yeah, bro? For the people listening, yeah. Oh man, might not follow you on Facebook. You never know who's gonna hear this. All right, bro. I I, I got you. I got you. I got yeah, you. So, so the post goes like this: There is no solid template for a real man, and I put real man in in quotations. They hold similarities, but are never the same whether it be minor differences or glaring discrepancies, that does not make him less or more than what he is. The idea of a real man is just that, an idea. A real man exists as a real man and not a checklist for the world to dissect and nitpick. So whoever took part in developing the general consensus of what real men are, your notions were misconstrued. And that's that idea came from the uh, and we were just talking about this off air that meme. Well, I don't even know you consider that like a meme or whatever. Um, there was a guy in a wheelchair and he was doing a like a whole. Uh, he was changing the woman's tire while in a wheelchair, mm-hmm. and the caption was like, uh, "You uh, like you able-bodied men have like no excuses now." It's like, okay, that's cool. But then I go to the comments, 
and just it's a whole bunch of people just saying, well, a whole bunch of women just saying, oh, this is like this is a real man, girls. You better get you a man like this. Is going to do all. This. I'm like, okay. First and foremost, like when they came up with the idea of what a real man is, did cars even exist, or did they just add that to the list later on? Well, probably added it to the list later on. It's like, <clears throat> a, lot, a lot of these things are just uh, this. The list is fairly recent from what you hear. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, there's no a lot of things because, like, if we were like cave people. What would a real? What would the definition of a real man be? Yeah, it's just like go out, hunt for food. The basics, right? Bring it home. <laughs> yeah, the basics. That's it. So now, nowadays, it's like, yeah, I get. I mean, I get the whole change the tire thing. You know, that's it, yeah, yeah. I, I, I get that. But at the same time, it's like, if if I don't know how to change a tire, and I'm and I'm like, okay, well, you know what? Let me call AAA. Mm hmm. So I'm not a real man now. To me, the, a real man would just be like getting that problem solved. Yeah. It doesn't matter how you do it. Mm -hmm. I mean, as long as you don't you know, shoot somebody and take their attire and then, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, as long as you get the problem solved, that's what a real man is to me. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't have to, like, a real man doesn't always have to be hands on. Exactly. Like, a man, like, in this situation, if he just goes out of his way, to prove a point that what a real what he is is a real man, right? And fucks up the car, then you're sitting there with a quote unquote real man and a fucked up car, right? That's all you have. Instead of him calling AAA and then just having them fix the tire, and that technically you having to blow to his ego because you look at him as like lesser man because he had he didn't try at least, right? Like that's not. <clears throat> Fair on his on his counts and shit. Like you can't do that. Right. You can't look at a man and say this is what it is. As a woman, you cannot tell a man what a real man is, even if someone has told you as a man what a real man is. It, he doesn't even know. Right. Because real men come in different. They come in different shapes, sizes, different attributes, and all that other shit. We have as many different things that come with being a real man. Right. And. Given just that's why I said it's like it's not a template. There's no default setting for a real man. Right. Like there are there are minor similarities, glaring discrepancies. Just as I said in the post, like we're not all the same. Right. I'm not saying it as like somebody who's like hurt or anything like that. I'm just I just want to get a a solid conversation going about the topic. It's just very confusing. Right. As to why people believe this is the case in in many instances. And shit. It's like, why do you feel as though a real man should follow this this type of uh, list that you have? And if he even breaks one of them, right. he no longer exists in that realm. Right. Which is technically is not for you to judge on anyway. Right. Like men judge men as as men like we. We dictate what a real man actually is because we're around each other. Right. If I'm going to you, like hypothetically, if I if I'm around you and you see me, oh I'm out, I'm just doing whatever the fuck I want to. I'm I'm killing niggas, just just off doing all the fuckery. Mm -hmm. And I go to you and you and then you just say, um, dude. Fuck are you doing? This this is you shouldn't be doing this. Why why are you doing it? like that's the judgment of a real manager? We're gonna look at you a certain way when we're uh when we're together. Mm hmm So a woman like you can go to a woman, she can say the same thing, but it doesn't hit it doesn't feel the same as the when one of your bros say something. Because we have a sense of I I don't even know how to put it, but we kind of we feel a different way than what women like. Women will uh, can react emotionally, but men if they if they feel as though you should be doing better, then that kind of that that makes a heck of a lot more sense than to where you're hearing it from a woman and shit. Cause right, even if you're around just if you, even if you're around women that kind of like are more of a have more of a masculine feel to them, mm 
mm-hmm. it still doesn't feel the same as the when you're being like talked to by one of your bros or by another man. Right. Because it it doesn't it doesn't hit the same way. Because if you're gonna look at any type of man a certain type of way as as a dude, it's just it's it's, it's kind of hard to just see someone in a in the light that a man can and shit. Right. Yeah. Like I, like I said earlier, I just feel like it's like a it's just a method of a control tactic. Um. It, it's because, like you said, it's different variants. And even with your analogy, it's just like, it just shows you how much, like, public opinion the, in the public's eye, how the definition just gets changed around. Because, like mm-hmm. you said, if you was the one out here killing everybody and all this stuff, and I would come to you and be like, yo, what the fuck you doing? You would look at me as a real man. But society will look at you as the real man because that's what's glorified. Like, mm-hmm. like I'll I'll lose cool points if I tell somebody I work nine to five. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. So it's like that's another reason why I just kind of discredit like what people say. Then at the end of the day. You know, nowadays everybody just knows everything. And you, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, off that Kanye shit, you can't tell me nothing. Yeah, so you just gotta take stuff with a grain of salt. You know, at the end of the day, if, if I was to not know how to change a tire, and we got a flat tire, and my girl would say something like, "Well, you're not a real man." The first thing that would pop in my mind is she she's been wanted to tell me that. That's true. She was just looking for a reason to tell me that. Mhm. You know what I'm saying? It's like they keep somewhat like I told you they keep the little checklist and shit. Yeah. As but, soon as as soon as you get that like as soon as you you check one off and shit it's like no, you you don't fit the criteria. Yeah. So it's like that that's there there should be no no debate. Or no, no kind of backlash if it's like, like I said earlier. Well, let me call AAA. They'll be here in ten, fifteen minutes. They'll change the tide. We'll be right back. On, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of like, because I personally didn't do it. Now I'm not a real man. Yeah. A real man should be considered as making the smart decision instead of making a instead of doing a physical act to prove a point. Right. Yeah, that's that should be the the general idea of being a real man. Like just like what you were saying, like be the problem solver. Right. That, that's all it is. Just just solve the problem any way that you can, like void of any negative, any negativity and shit. Yeah, because that's that's how we. That's how like you even like around here, like how it's just like a group of us or whatever, and it's like. You don't know everybody's personal life. Mm-hmm. So all you can do is go off when we're together. True. And it's like when we're together, we'll, ha- we'll have like dialogue within each other. You know what I'm saying? And how dudes handle the situation is vastly different. Mm-hmm. Now, how, many, now you, you, how many times have we like been outside debating? We all come to the same conclusion. But the debate is in how we get there. Yeah, like um, I mean, it's it depends, weird, right? depends on it, was, <laughs> it depends on the uh, so, uh, on the topic, though. Depends on the topic. Well, yeah, if we that, come that, to the... that, that too. That, uh, yeah, sometimes it is we do, but even I'm just saying, like, it, I'm not going to say you're not real because you would do something differently than I would do. Mm-hmm. I know how to do this, or you know how to do that. Yeah, nah, yeah. Mike not doing that. He ain't, ain't no real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's almost just like it's just an insult that you keep in your back pocket. Mm-hmm. So when you get in your feelings, you can kind of hurl it at uh, at a gender or at a specific person, or just to make them feel less of what they are. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. 
I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like I said, I, I see stuff like that. I hear stuff like that. I laugh, you know. Hopefully, whoever thinks like that, they find, like, peace and, and the truth. And then, you know, I just move on. I, I'm not. But to the fellas who, like, because, you know, it is niggas out here that's, like, oh, I kind of feel like a lot of people are super influential. But it is niggas out here that really think that they got to follow, like, a criteria from a female. Yeah. And those are the ones that's like, damn, I feel y'all sorry for cuz. Mm-hmm. Because he out here, he busting his ass. Yeah. He got the job. He know how to cook. He know how to clean. He know how to change tires. He know how to. But it's like, once you jump in that game, it's always going to be something. Yeah, bro. Be- because you've given them the power to, like, manipulate the list. Mm-hmm. It, there are some ones that will manipulate the list and, shit yeah. and use that against you based off of Facts. what you like, what they want. Right. I've had that. I've had that happen to me. Oh yeah, me too. Oh, on like numerous occasions. Yeah. I feel like every 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 if you dealt with like females, especially nowadays, I feel like I feel like everyone's probably experienced that. You just handle it differently. Yeah. Know? Because every man wants to feel as though like he's he's a man in general, and to take away the idea of him being a man is hurtful in in any sense like it doesn't matter right like every i know with me when it ha- when it happened to me it hurt when i heard some when i heard, hear someone say oh a real man does this you're not doing that so you don't qualify or some shit like that or anything that resembles that it like that that struck a chord when you hear that oh you're lesser than what you believe that you are, mm-hmm. that's it. It especially when you're like back when back when I was like highly depressed and shit like that. When you hear something like that when you're going through shit, right. it makes it significantly worse. Right, 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 exactly. So you have almost no choice but to follow in with well follow with the list that they're giving you just so you can feel as though they're going to give you somewhat of a, a pat on the back for being what you already are. Mm-hmm. Like they're giving you an idea of what you should be, even though that you have already, you've always been that. Like you can manipulate a good person based off of a an imaginary list, right? Like I can say that it's been many people that I've seen that have been manipulated into believing that they're not as good as what they are based on a criteria that was set by somebody else. And and that and that's that's a big deal because it's like if you look at the situation, like what I do, like how my mind works, at least how it's like programmed to work, is like you look at what the government does to people. Like look at the different control tactics control tactics that they use on people mm-hmm. and then you look at these situations and you compare it. And mm-hmm. once you start once you start to notice the similarities, that's how that's how I pretty much be like, well, it's just some foolery. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like that's just my mindset when I, I I think about these type of things. But it's really it really just comes down to the fact that like we've been saying, I feel like and and, and don't get me wrong, some some I would it's not all females manipulating and trying to demean males and stuff like that. Because some females were genuinely taught this by their parents. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like that. That's a, a generational curse that needs fixing. Right. Right. So that's not your fault. Like if you just was blindly taught that, then that's not on you. Yeah. Well, not 100%, but it... I mean, it's on, it's on you to like, hopefully you grow and mature... And one day you realize, like, damn, I've been on some wild shit. Yeah, you know, what I'm yeah, you know what definitely got to take accountability at some point. Yeah, because that 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 it's not a, and it's not a comfortable thing to do, but that's something that you got to do. Mm-hmm. Like, I, it's been plenty of times where I just stepped in the mirror and I'm like, damn, I, I got to do something. Something this ain't you know what I'm saying. This ain't me. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. And it's tough, but you you just got to do it. But but 
it's a difference though because it's like if the stuff is super working in your favor, why would you want to change? Yeah, and th- this whole idea of being able to tell somebody what a real man is and shit like it definitely works in right. the female. Uh, the uh, <laughs> like it, it's, you ever hear <clears throat> when dudes say oh, a real woman does this and they get completely bent out of shape? Yeah. I, but but it's, it's 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 few. It's a few, only a few times. I'm not gonna count on one hand how many times I've seen that because if you notice, we don't we don't have big like criteria for females in society. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like the old housewife type of thing. It's, yeah, they cook, clean, and all that other shit. Like they, they don't have a long list of shit. Right, exactly. It's like it's like because we don't we're not doing like what females do. Cause yeah. like, like I said when I when we first started, like I'm simplistic. The average dude is simplistic. Mm-hmm. It ain't gotta be all this. Like, dudes just want the situation done. Girls be into like the detail of things. Yeah, they really meticulous. You're right. You know what I'm saying. So that's that's what it all comes down to. Like, oh, uh, the tire is fixed, but you didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because as soon as I get into an argument, trust and believe that's gonna be the first thing that's gonna be said. Mm-hmm. You're not no real man. You can not change the tie. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's for the, the toxic females that'll throw some shit like that in your face. That's shit. true. Very true. And like the there are the good ones and shit that will respect you regardless of what you're doing. And they tend to be with some of like the worst guys and shit. Which is a personal choice. Like I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say it's not their responsibility as to why they should they did that and shit. It's, I'm not gonna absolve them of any uh responsibility that yeah, that was your choice. Facts. But um yeah, there are still some good women, you know, good women that do allow you to be the man that you actually are, and I would I commend them. Right. Hats off to you, even though I'm not wearing one. Well, um, well, you got. I mean, you got the hair out. You know? I mean, what the fuck you want me to pull out the clippers? No, I'm just saying. You can... Hair off to you and shit. Yeah. Oh, bush gone. Bro. <laughs> 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 well, um, <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, I I just really think that it, it's it's so one sided. Oh, it is. It's way too one sided because we have we have so much like on our plate already. Yeah, it's like even just just black men in general. It's 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 one sided. I feel like it's one sided because of like two. It's a bunch of things, but it's like two main things. One because the aura is around the female anyway. True. And then two because most dudes don't care anyway Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like we sit and debate about we can sit and talk about it but you know at the end of the day like like I said a few minutes ago I'll I'll look I'll laugh and then keep scrolling you know (laughs) like 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 like, man nobody's about to tell me what a real man is come on son I ain't looking silly you know what I'm saying son the whole time I was reading the comments I was like okay yeah yeah, I, I, I didn't get in my feelings at all and shit. It just sparked an idea, and I wanted to talk about it. <laughs> like, I I really didn't care, but it, it was content. Right. That's what, I, that's what I like to use a lot of stuff for now, just content. Like, yeah. And then me adding it to the post and shit, I was like, yeah. I mean, this is what it is. So, I mean, do a little bit of changing and shit. Like, maybe, maybe that's the case. Mm-hmm. So maybe if they see it in this light, maybe it'll change a little bit. Like that that's I person like like I said, like I, I don't care if you change or not. It's just mm-hmm. it's just so many different people that will see something and then at least and not like care enough to at least try and help. Facts. So with me being a helper and I, I wanna at least give you the idea. So you can run with it or leave it. That's your choice. Yeah, I've, I've been I've been the helper, but then I've I've decided not to be the like the extreme helper no more. Because you know you know, I mean, there's two ways I can explain this. I can, I can do the politically correct way, and then I can just do the the regular way. And you could whatever so, so suits do, you best. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do both ways. So pause. Yeah, pause. Politically correct means it's saying like I'm I'm not gonna. 
you know, I'm going to give other people the opportunity to become the helpers and extreme helpers and try to make a difference. So I'm going to step aside. Mm-hmm. And then the real way, the real reason is just like, I mean, how 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 long are you just supposed to help and before you just realize this shit ain't going nowhere? Yeah. I've had those moments. Yeah. But if somebody was to ask, my consensus statement would be like, yo, you know, I just want to give other people opportunity to help out. You know, I want to see what they could do in this situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, let me just... Let me see what the youth got. You know what I mean? Like, Facts. I mean, yeah. So, but nah. Um, so it it begs to ask the question: um, Are males genuinely appreciated nowadays? Uh it's hard to tell. It is. It really <laughs> is hard to tell. And you know, you know what our rule is about: if you gotta ask. The answer is no. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I ain't gonna lie. Like, it, yeah. One of our top rules is whenever you're in a situation, damn, I wonder if such and such love me. If you gotta ask yourself that, the answer is no. Yeah. There's no such thing as maybe. No such thing as a little bit. If you ever get in a situation and you gotta ask yourself a question, the answer is no. Because. You would know if a person loves you. You know, I can refute that a little bit, just a little bit, because there are some people who are completely broken, and then they believe that something's wrong all the time. That's not love. I know, but I'm just saying, like the yeah. person asking the question, it doesn't mean the other person doesn't love you. It just means that you can't love yourself. Then that's not love. Yeah. Either way, it's not love. But but to put it all on one on the other person, it's kind of different. We're still. Well, I'm not saying. I'm not saying like. To put it all on the other person, but I'm, we're just talking like from, from like, all right, let's say if I was in a situation, and I'm not like depressed or anything, I'm not broken, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, nah, do Slim really love me? If I have to ask that, yeah, that that I get, that I get. <laughs> like, if I have to ask, like, ooh, I'm just like underappreciated here. Like yeah. w- once you get to thinking, once you get to thinking those things. It's a matter of time. We talk about this all the time. It's a, all it takes is that one. Damn, be sure you really fuck with me. Mm-hmm. And then everything after that point, you are gonna start every. It could be the smallest of shit. Yeah, this shit don't fuck with me for real. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, then you become like you're the on the outside looking in and shit. Like yeah, you're, like you're living in third person. Yeah, you're just trying to see like, nah, because if she fuck with me, she would have did this and not that. You know what I'm saying? She do that for her, her, uh, her little girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Her little mm-hmm. besties and all of that. But when it's me, I just like get the go. Okay, man, so they ain't fucking. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. like, how do you how do you feel? Do you feel like it's a because <laughs> I I don't dudes are just. How do you measure? How do you like measure appreciation for a dude? Because we so simple. Yeah. So it's like, I, if we had a poll, if we took a poll, I bet you the average dude would say like, they feel like they're genuinely unappreciated. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure there'd be some very uh, <laughs> unfortunate instances where females are probably be on their. Like, you all appreciate it. We ain't appreciate it. It's just, it, it, it's many of those, many of those, and and that's <clears throat> that kind of stuff. It like goes in one ear and out the other, because when it comes to that kind of stuff, a guy has to be specifically appreciated. Mm-hmm. Like when I see girls make statuses like. Oh, shout out to all my black kings. You know, I love y'all because this world doesn't. I see that, and I'll love it, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. But I also understand that that's just a cool thing to say right now. Mm-hmm. 
It makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, tag somebody specifically. It ain't got to be me. Yeah. I'm pretty sure females, you got the, the 3,000 friends, 5,000 friends. 5,000 friends, 4,000 of them black kings. Tag one of them. Yeah. If you're single, tag tag a different one every every day, every week with something. You know what I'm saying? Specifically show love to a nigga. You know what I mean? Like, don't generalize, like, a statement towards the masses because that's when it becomes ingenuine. Yeah, bro. Uh, I, I, I get that. I mean, to a degree. I ain't saying it's completely ingenuine because it's like, I give a perfect example, and this this for me this goes across like genders. It's it's both male and female. Okay. So birthdays, mm-hmm. social media. Mm-hmm. On your birthday, a bajillion people are posting your page. Okay. Yeah. That. Yeah. Right. So you've seen like. How certain people respond to like all of that? Yeah, I've I've noticed that. <laughs> uh, I, I I think I know where you're going with this, and I 100 percent agree. Right. So you post like happy birthday to a person, they might like it, might love it, might some people get the occasional responses, or you'll just get a general statement like, "Hey, thanks everybody for the birthday wishes. You know, I appreciate it." Boom. Mm-hmm. But me. I personally respond back to every single person. Even if I don't really want to, like like last year. Like three, almost 400 people. But I did every single one because I, like, I really appreciated that. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to specifically thank every single person. And I specifically said something different every single time. It wasn't just like, let me copy and paste this. Let me copy. You know what I'm saying? Like I mm-hmm. genuinely appreciated people. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's not easy doing that kind of stuff, but you have to do it oh. if you want to be genuine. Yeah. Uh, you went the exact direction that I knew you was going to go in. Yeah. Like, it's like telepathy and shit, bro. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's like, that's how, that's how, that's how it should be. If you really appreciate, like how they say, go above and beyond. Then go about and do it. Mm-hmm. It's not gonna be no. It's not gonna be easy. Yeah, you you get the you get the people that are more along the lines of like okay, let me love every last one of these or let me like every last one of these and respond only to the people that I know. Right. And then right. you will get the ones that don't say anything or even like any of it. Just say thank you all for the yeah. for the the and, birthday wishes and shit. And I and I I don't like I don't say happy birthday to them. People, like, people took time out their day. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody had to have been on Facebook or Instagram, wherever they was at, and they thought about you. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. It's such a such birthday today. You know what I'm saying? Like, happy birthday. Mm-hmm. It's a quick little gesture, but that, it, like, they didn't have to do that. Yeah. They could have been like how like a bunch of other people on your friends list probably was. Oh, such a such birthday. Fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> so they could have. Yeah, no bull. No bull. So it's like, especially people like we not close to. Mm-hmm. Like you said, because other people won't respond at all to people they don't know. Yep. That's. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's sad, bro. It is. Well, that's a different, that's a whole different conversation. But. Whether I know you, you know what I'm saying? Whether I don't know you, I might want to get to know you. Mm-hmm. Or just random, it's random like niggas I haven't seen in years, niggas I haven't talked to in years. Damn, bro, you know what I'm saying? I ain't seen you in like 20 years. Happy birthday, yo. Yeah, funny ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that, that's, I just cut out the favoritism. Yeah. Like, how, why, how, how could somebody that doesn't even know me like that? I haven't seen in 20 years. They tell me something like that. How am I just going to ignore that? Yeah. <laughs> like, how am I just going to, like, like it or and move on? Like, no, I need to, like, 
you're making differences in people's lives, especially in this in this way worse for females because it's like people look to females for much different shit. Mm-hmm. Like if I wasn't a funny nigga, niggas wouldn't probably look to me for much. You know what I'm saying? Well, mm-hmm. the female thing too, which which uh, niggas was really getting annoying with. But <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't if it wasn't for that, people wouldn't look to me for much. People look to females for like almost everything. Mm-hmm. You know, females look to other females if they look beautiful, they look a certain way, uh, and it breaks down into different lanes like hair. Damn, girl, your hair always be looking good. Damn, girl, your nails always look good. Yeah, bro, I, th- I think this uh the whole real man topic is the re well is the byproduct of women deciding to listen to other women besides listening to men. Right. And specifically their men. Mm-hmm. That they got. That's un that's an unfortunate byproduct, but we we have we have that's something I I can't really accept for real. Right. Cuz if you're going to ask some well if you're going to not even ask, if you're going to try and tell me what a real man is, at least let it be a man's idea of what he what a real man should be. Facts. At least tell me something that a man has said, and I can refute it or or anything like that, or I can do anything with that, as long as it's not coming from somebody that you saw online that said, "Oh, men should be like this." As long as it ain't like somebody like Derek Jackson or somebody like that, don't don't follow that nigga. Well, Derek Jackson was just like he was just like with the man before he just was a hypocrite. Right. Follow Kevin Savage, y'all. <laughs> Kevin Savage. <laughs> Kevin Savage. Yeah, follow Savage. Uh, but uh, it, it comes down to like, like you said, it comes down to like females listening to females. You uh, you seen that old movie? Two can play that game. Mm-hmm. That's like a prime example of like females listening to other females. Yep. When Vivica Fox was like, she had her little fake little ruse and her fake little. Ways to like get her man to act right when he was acting up. And yeah, like, even, even though Cuz wasn't even acting up technically, he wasn't. He just would. They just relationships aren't perfect. But because Facts. of one little one little situation, now she got this whole like syllabus that she about to run Cuz through. Yeah, just to, <laughs> just to, and she she got her little group of girlfriends that she giving them the syllabus, and now they doing it on they dudes. And ironically, it worked for the female friends. It just didn't work for her. Yeah, because she had a good dude for real. Right. Why they had like knuckleheads. Well, yeah. <laughs> why yeah. do Why does it matter as to what she says? Like you have to understand that <coughs> there are more. There's more to the story than what someone else is telling you. You have to figure out on your own two perspectives. Yes. Yeah. And then she ended up making it right by doing what she should have did the first time which was going to talk to the nigga yeah. like, like an adult you mm. know and it, it's crazy that I guess then the movie wouldn't have been the movie like an hour and a half the movie would have been like five minutes the man. movie was funny as shit though it was like, yeah. uh, <laughs> oh man Anthony Anderson bro yeah that, that, that's that's one of my uh, from that time period that's like one of my favorite movies two can play that yeah. game and how to be a player yeah, so who's wearing the big draws? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like that's shout out to uh and the brothers. Yeah, that that one too, bro. Yeah. So shout out to uh what's his name? Morris Chestnut, man. Yeah, Morris Chestnut. Yeah, bro. Everybody in that film funny. And they had Monique in that joint too. Yeah. Kamala Jones. Yeah. Morris Chestnut is probably like the only person I might have ever seen that's been in a bunch of memes, but none of the memes was jokes. Like, in a bad way, though. Like, all his memes were saying, like, oh, if you see him in the movie, you know the girl about to get treated with love and respect. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Uh, about to get treated for everything she's worth. <laughs> I said, that, that's acting up. Like, I've never seen a bad meme. It's always something like that with Morris Chestnut when he in a meme. Hey, yo, chill, That's bro. hilarious as shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's my man's, though, bro. Yeah, let's out the boys' chestnut, man. Like, super underrated actor. 
So Man, yeah, he definitely. Ricky. Yeah, that too. Man, he better. He got all. They got a nice body of work too. Yeah, that's facts. Yeah, that's definitely facts. So, <sighs> but, but yeah, that movie is like a prime example of like how most, not all, but most females think. Yeah, I can I can attest to that and shit. Cause you having to deal with so many like females that just that's just following the doctrine of whatever female is in charge at the time and shit. Right. Like there's always that one friend that's gonna give the most advice but be wrong as fuck. Yeah. But but, but the delivery what I'm saying nowadays is Delivery is a big thing too. If you got good delivery, people will eat shit up. Yep. Like we the we the we the saying niggas couldn't have told me Derek Jackson was like cheating on his wife and all that type of shit. Mm hmm. Because like you just you just see a nigga like he got this strong delivery. I right, could really believe what he said. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. And that shit, dude, y'all like makes some sense. All right, let's rock out with Cuz. Boom, get that. Yeah, like that. I I say to myself like all the time, bro. Motivational speakers are some of the most dangerous people. Yeah, and Mike. it goes. Uh, Mike Thomas. <laughs> so I was on the mic. Success story. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he, uh, be, he he dangerous too. Yeah. He's saying his little videos. He be doing, like, working out and shit. Got the little sad music playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Go get it. Yeah. Get up and get results. Yeah. Like, like, damn, nigga. Stop being sad all the time. <laughs> I, I was sad. Yeah, he give you, like, a little super sad story and shit. <laughs> like, his, his job be taking you on, like, a emotional roller coasters and shit. Because you'll start off, like, oh, I am about to be motivated. Next thing you know, you crying. <laughs> <laughs> then he might crack a little joke or something. So, you know, he die, like, you be sniffing him, and then you'll chuckle. <laughs> <All right. laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you back motivated. So, yeah. so, get up. Like you said, get up and get results. He's like bipolar and shit with his whole <laughs> video and shit. <laughs> like, damn, they got to went through a whole fucking, uh, like a whole storyline worth of shit uh-huh. in one 15 second video. <laughs> uh huh. Message is approved by Success Story. Yeah. yeah. That's how so, I like right there, man. It sounds out like the mic, bro. But yeah, you just you got some good you got some good delivery. Like you gotta be special to not have like a good delivery. Like to me, Kevin Samuels doesn't have a good delivery. He just out no. of control. Yeah, he he is. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, his delivery it, it it does warrant some somewhat of a negative response. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was watching the video yesterday. He's talking to this girl, and um, it's like it's funny. I watched two videos. They both like five minutes a piece and shit. And it's weird because one of the videos he's being like nice mm-hmm. to the girl, and I ain't never really seen him be nice before. But I was trying to figure out what the difference was, and I noticed about the girl. I think she was like popular on YouTube or something like that, even though I had never seen her. So I noticed about the girl that out of all the girls, she was also nice, though. Mm-hmm. And she was, like, down to earth. She's like, I mean, I just need some advice. You know, you ain't got to carry me like how you be doing all the other females and this and that. <laughs> and he was like, he was like, sweetie, I only, I'm, I'm helping the other females. I'm not carrying them. It's like my delivery got to get a little strong because sometimes they need that to listen. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And I was like, oh, okay, okay. He's like, see, you coming you coming off all sweet and soft and you got to open the ear so I ain't got to talk like that with you. I could be regular. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I'm like, oh, yeah, all right. This nigga might be the truth and shit. Hey, uh, he has his moments, bro. Yeah. The other video, it was like a, <laughs> he was asking the girl, what she bring to the table besides pussy and shit. So, now the girl ain't named not one thing. The girl ain't named nothing. But she kept, like, dancing around it. But she was like, I bring a lot of things to the table. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, ain't going to stay now or nothing like that. And so, he was like, all right, so what kind of man you want? And she said something. 
This is like, sweetie, do you know that that kind of man that works that kind of job makes a hundred k a year? And he was like, what could you bring to the table that could equal out like a hundred k a year? And then she said something. She was like, what I bring to the table probably worth more than that. And then he's all like busting out laughing, and he he was doing he did like some little dance and shit, like while he was sitting down, like some little little, little wave or something, some little jump. <laughs> And he was like, sweetie, I'm going to tell you like this. He said, you got two kids already? He was like, you probably never get a man like that. And if somehow you do get lucky, you probably won't keep him. Because if you can't tell me what you bring to the table, how you going to tell him? You know what I'm saying? Like, if he making that much money a year, he was like, every girl come equipped with pussy. You know what I'm saying? Yours yeah. ain't the tightest in the world. Yours ain't the wettest. Yours ain't the warmest. So... It's always gonna be somebody that's gonna one up you if you that easy, you know what I'm saying? That's true. Yeah, that, that's true. Yeah, she was getting all mad. She ended up hanging up and shit. Like, see, I'm just, I'm just trying to let these females know that they need to get get other skills. You know what I'm saying? But it's like stop stop doing the bare minimum. You thinking you just gonna fucking suck his dick and he gonna be happy for for the next fifty years? No, it don't work like that. I was like, yeah, yeah. He's got a point. <laughs> he do. So I don't know, man. This, like, I, I appreciate Kevin Samuels because at least he out here fighting for niggas, man. You yeah. Know? And he's holding females accountable, which is something that just doesn't happen now. They, everything, the government, everything is like geared towards a female for real. Yeah. It's, it's, they say, well, you know, you know the song. Like, this is a man's world and shit. Like, yeah. But it wouldn't be nothing without a woman or a girl. Yeah. And they talk about a specific man, by the way. I'm not talking about the black man. Yeah. <laughs> it's, so, uh. <laughs> yeah, we, we're, we're put on the, under the bus. So on, on all. All fronts. All, all fronts, all bro. Fronts. Yeah. Like, we have, <laughs> like, almost no leeway. Not even with our own women and shit. Yeah. God forbid you don't you don't want leeway with your own women and shit. Like the double standard thing is crazy too. It's a lot, but like I said earlier, I feel like that's because like it's halfway dude's fault too, because mm-hmm. we we just like we don't care about a lot of shit. Yeah, <laughs> you know what we, I'm we, just, we just let shit slide because we're okay. we're not okay with it. We let it slide because you rather have yeah we rather have, have peace yeah you, <laughs> you want peace and as long and they say happy wife happy life that's one of the most fucking toxic sayings of all time it is that's going to show that you have no say so in your own relationship you cannot have peace without her having the peace first or only yeah or yeah, and only because your life could be hell. Yeah. But as long as she got peace, she's going to want you to be happy. <clears throat> Which is not fair. It's not fair. Like, why the hell does she have to be happy all the time and I have to be miserable? That's the that's the idea that's been put in her head. And it sounds good because it was like, like, why not? Yeah. yeah There's people out here willing to do this. Damn, the masses, society's accepting this. Like, what the hell? Why not do this? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I, I don't know, man. Yeah. It, it, it's too much of a societal norm for it to cater too much to the female ego. And right. it's not just catering to females, just catering to an ego that's already bloated in general. Mm-hmm. Like, why the hell do I have to go through all of this just to fit into like, your realm of what I should be. Like, shouldn't I try and be the best me? Right. So that I can bring out uh, an even better you or you already come equipped with the better you? Mm -hmm. Shouldn't that be the case? Facts. Like, there's no growth if I'm trying to focus on a list that I probably didn't want to be a part of in the first place. Yeah. So, I don't... It's almost like it's reverse psychology to get you to settle. Yeah. You know, like how they say you just shouldn't settle for somebody. Mm-hmm. They're like backing you into a corner where it's like, 
good to have everybody doing it. I might as well do it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you're settling because that's not what you believe in. Yeah, but it it kind of ties in what we was talking about like a couple weeks ago with the fifty fifty shit. Right. It's like you can't. You got to be one hundred percent the breadwinner on everything and shit. Right. Like you, right. there there's no in betweens here. Right. So you look at that and you just say, why the hell is that the case? Like just because that's what the idea of what a real man is. Like bills didn't exist when when men first existed. Bills <laughs> right. did not exist. Right. This is just a new thing that was added. Right. As far as like what women have had to deal with, it's always been a set idea. From day one. Yeah. Because even with cave people, like what was the female doing? Taking care of the kids if they had it? Clean, yeah. Cleaning the rocks? The house, <laughs> cleaning the rocks? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dusting the rocks off? Or, like from day one, the ideology for women has always been the same. Yeah, We're like, coming into a period now where females want equality. Well, at least they think they want equality, but. Yeah, until a man shows up be and careful, shit. Be careful what you wish for, because uh, 50-50 is equality. You you know, you know, like, how the government operates. They give you what you ask for, just not the way that you think that you're going to get it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you want equality, and then once you get it, males is going to start trickling down on everything. And then you're not, it's going to end up unequal anyway. Mm-hmm. Like, i give you a prime example. Over the last year or so, probably since the pandemic started, maybe even before then, but because everything been closed, it forces you to watch it more. The WNBA females have been complaining mm-hmm. that they want to be paid like the NBA players. Oh, they has been like that for a while. Right, okay. So... Eventually, what's going to happen is they're going to keep complaining. They're going to keep complaining. They're going to keep complaining. Man, it's really going to happen. <clears throat> so, you know what's going to happen? Mm-hmm. Now, whoever runs the WNBA, they're either going to meet with the commissioner of the NBA, maybe the G League, maybe a government official, or something. Mm hmm. And eventually, they're either going to let transsexuals in the WNBA, or they're going to end up letting like certain males in the NBA. Uh, I can see it happening. The WNBA, my bad. I can see it happening. To try to try to elevate the WNBA, but now it's going to give them what they want in the beginning. But it's also going to be the start of their demise. Yeah. And remember, guys, you heard it here first. Yeah. Because <laughs> you can see, like, like we're, we're in our early 30s. It doesn't take a lot to see, like, how the government operates. If you just look, like, step back and pay attention, they do the same shit over and over. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? History repeats itself. So people will ask for this. Okay, okay, cool. We'll give you that. It's gonna cost you this though. Mm-hmm. The okay. slave, the slaves wanted to be free. Oh yeah, Lincoln, go ahead, go ahead, get the process started. Lincoln, go ahead, sign that. That's a basic proclamation. We gonna let y'all be free. Cause, cause some one brainiac was just like, yo, we let the slaves be free. Well, they're not gonna really know how to do nothing on their own. So instead of them slaving for us, well, we'll just call it a job. Mm-hmm. And then we'll just offer them minimum wage, which ironically is still around today. But <laughs> we'll offer them minimum wage. We ain't got to pay them a lot. And then, boom, not only will they come back to be slaves, well, now we can enslave everybody. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, no, no. People won't be in shackles physically. Let's do this mentally. Yeah. 
just just give the the black people Jim Crow. So it it seems as though it's unfair for them, but really it's unfair for everybody. Right, right, right. And, and, and then you know, man, we got this. We got these TVs and we got satellites where we could just project anything everywhere. We're gonna we're gonna make these people seem super hostile and super, you know, violent. But in reality, all races in this situation are like this. And in reality, you know, we're gonna show them that we're just this rich perfect better off race than everybody yeah the the uh anomaly right uh the divine entity right right and it's like that's that's just that's just what all of it comes down to they're gonna let people they're gonna let end up letting me with transsex i can i, I can just i can just smell it they're gonna let transsexuals in the WNBA. or they're gonna start letting some type of male it's gonna be it's gonna start off with some type of restriction Cause that's how all the shit always start off. Yeah, we gonna do this, but don't worry, don't worry. And then, cause there's females in the WNBA that's super ball. Like it's it's some dynamos that that that's dropping like fifty. Yep. Forty and fifty points. They gonna let one of these trannies in. Somebody gonna drop a hundred. It's oh. gonna it's gonna be everywhere. News, ESPN, WNBA gonna get what they want. They're gonna get that big influx of money. They're gonna get this and that. Like, damn, this is this is crazy. You know what, females? Y'all was right. And as soon as the females leave, the next order of business is, hey, go find a few more of them. Mm-hmm. If they let dudes in, go find a few more of them dudes. Why they gonna hurry up? Or go find a few more of them transsexuals while they're gonna hurry up. Yep. And then they'll start to be phased out little by little. Still blind to it. Cause they gonna they gonna pay them. They're gonna be making the money, so they're not gonna care. It, it's gonna look, you know, you living your life and all this and that. You know? And then little by little. Like, hold on. Damn, this shit, you know, this is the WNBA and they're gonna end up changing the letters. You know what I'm saying? LGBTQ NBA or something like that. <laughs> <Hell> <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? So, like, the, I don't know. It, it, be, it literally be the same stuff over and over. People just too blind to, you know. Yeah, too, bro. Too blind to see it. Or you don't care. Same. Like, it, just like the Einstein's theory of a uh, of insanity. It's like insanity is like doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Like in every case you look at it, it that it, that formula proves to be correct. Like you keep doing the same shit over and over again, and and trying to get a different result is going to backfire, and you're gonna look at it as nothing more than horrifyingly bad times in general. Like I can't I can't stress that enough and shit. Like you have no other alternative but to look at it that way. Right. Because. So many people are just. Like, I'm, not, I'm not even going. I'm not. Matter of fact, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that alone. But if you look at females and all the shit that they they're dealing with now, mm-hmm. a lot of that is their fault because of what they, the list is telling them. Right. And that's another thing. Like, how how much how much stuff. How many different things can like a person like pay attention to and try to incorporate like in life? I don't know, bro. It's like, like, why not just get the experience instead of like, okay, I got taught this as a kid, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, blah, blah, blah. Cool. I got to school. Now they teaching me this. Okay. Something, something different, but okay. Okay. I now I'm, I'm graduated from school and now I might go to college. College, you meet like a whole bunch of different type of people. Everybody from all parts of the world, different beliefs, and different ways they was raised to find like 
well, my dad told me if I wanted to get married, I would have to do this. So I don't know why you know that. You know what I'm saying? And then yeah. then it's just like, well, dad, who right? <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, instead of just experiencing and then being like, well, uh, the relationship is kind of like spades. You know, the first little time period, a bit itself, it's like the first hand. Mm-hmm. And then once you assess, like, what you got and then what I got, well, now we can play together. Mm-hmm. Like it makes perfect sense. Right. So it's like experience, as they say, is the best teacher. Mm-hmm. And by now, plenty of people been in relationships, like you said, the definition of insanity. People just keep trying the same thing over and over with new people. Yeah, instead of coming to the common denominator, like you need to change you. Right. Like the same thing I tell people. Like uh, I was telling my female friend, at least one of them, because so many of them doing it. But I was telling my female friend, like she's like, yeah, you know, I'm about to move to uh, I think in New York. I'm about to move to New York. You know what I'm saying? I need a fresh beginning, new start, new, you know, done here. It's like, Slim, it's not here. Don't get me wrong. This is a toxic place. But you're going to go through the same shit because you're not changing. Mm hmm. Like, man, if you want to <coughs> be in drama at the monument versus being in drama in front of the Statue of Liberty, okay, cool. Go ahead. But <laughs> Slim, it's going to be the same unless you change. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I said, that common denominator. So a lot of people don't want to take accountability. Yeah. And that list is a way to not take accountability. It's like you look at <coughs> the list that, like, the list of what a real man actually is. Like you neglect everything of what you should be. Like. Are you going to be able to fit into this person's lifestyle based off of the things that he already knows? It, the the list is, is nothing more than detaching some someone from the good qualities that they already have and putting them in a box where all you want from him is this. Facts. So all of the only thing that you're getting is an idea of what he should be and he's he's missing out on everything that he can be. Facts. And with so many different women like you see it over and over and over again and you just want you just want to say you know you are the problem here, right? Mm-hmm. It's not the the real man. It's the lack of woman here. Right. The lack of the woman you are missing out on what you should be as a woman. Stop focusing on what a real man should be and focus on being a better woman. That's it. If you're a better woman than the real man that you're seeking that doesn't fit the list or the criteria is going to follow behind that. He's going to want to be around you. He's going to do all of the things that he needs to do in order to keep you. But what you're doing now is just trying to follow a list that honestly it doesn't even fit you. <laughs> right. Like you have an idea of what a like you have this idea of what a real man should be. Have you ever asked yourself, is this what I really want? No. Facts. There's so many people that just say, I want this, I want that. And it's like the same thing over and over and over again. But they never really you never really get a chance to hear what they really want because they don't know what they want and that's one of the reasons why i'm not even dating at this this point it's just like so many people just don't know what they want because they're not in tune with themselves facts and women are like i'm not gonna say all of them a lot of women just do not want to take accountability for the shit that they do and this list is the biggest portion to that it's like why are you focusing on what I should be doing? Right. As a man, I should come into a relationship knowing what it is I need to do. There are men who can't do that. Right. Like, I, I understand that. There are men who can't do it. Right. And, uh, hey. 
it, that's it, them. If, if there is, if there is such a list that has to be made, little petty stuff like change a tire shouldn't be on it. That's facts. Yeah, take take all of that that BS off. Yeah, the little petty stuff like, yeah, oh man, you you can't play basketball. You ain't no real man. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. Like, that, that's what it's gonna come down to. Like, motherfucker, like a ticket is gonna stop saying anything just to prove you ain't a real man. Look at a blind dude. Oh, you can't see. You're not a real man. Yeah. Like, oh, you're not. You know, you're not strong. You don't work out. This and that. Or, or what's a what's a big one I be saying on on, on Facebook? Oh, anybody that <clears throat> any any man that's not you gotta be at least six feet tall. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, like, it's probably a five five nigga right now that is like the one of the best dudes you can ever meet. Mm-hmm. And he not a real man because he five five. Like, come on, Slim. Like, I got. I don't know. Y'all definitely got to fix a lot of this shit, man. Because we, we ain't got time for it no more, man. It's it, it's too much. I, I'm I'm gonna let's say this. It's too much of the malarkey going along. Man. Like we ain't got to. Like we got to a point where it's just let us be. Like let us be what we need to be. Facts. And not try and put us on like a time frame as to where you feel as though we need to we need to do certain things. Unless we're with you. That's the only thing. Like, don't put that on everybody. Right. Don't generalize and all that shit. I mean, I get it. That's the that's the new norm is to generalize. You hear me say shit. When I say I don't say just women, 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 I say a lot of or mm-hmm. some or mm-hmm. something like that. Mm-hmm. It's never just all oh, I don't lump you in the same thing. Don't don't do the same with us. Right. That's not how it works. You're not gonna get any dialogue if you continue to bash. Right. I like, this may seem like bashing because it's honesty. Like people like normally give hostility when they're forced to take accountability. Facts. So with that being said, man, this has been a Breaking the Narrative podcast, VTM for short. And I'm Tony. And I'm Teddy. And we out of here, man. <laughs>